this is inspirational to me. Oh my god. Okay, so today I'm here with... Oh man, I've forgotten. Snarkulpus. Yes. And Dalmont. Howdy -ho. And we're in the middle of filming a feature video. And we decided to use the regular space station sent to me by Gaia-san. And, um, and basically I'm just sort of trying to find it. Where exactly is it? I, I think I must be in the wrong six sector. Six, it's negative 666, negative 666. Ah, and that will be why yep. I'm not seeing it. We decided I haven't, got, uh, I haven't got enough sixes. Furthermore, let me just plug the fact that this is astounding. Yeah, this is um, this is the best I room I've ever seen in Star Trek. Oh, okay, this swag. Room for inspiration. I, mean, I will. Show so, you the door and stuff. so just hang on. So, what's this spaceship? There's a spaceship here. I have no idea. It's like a combination between the Nova and the Prometheus. So, well done there, whoever built that. I think it might have been him, but I think it is Gaia Sun's ship. I nicked the it's copy beautiful. Of that. I hope it yeah, <laughs> I'm sure you won't mind. So this is the uh, regular space station from Star Trek II: Wrath of Khan. Okay, and um, yeah. So I'm just going to uh, take a little look, see in here. So classic Gaia-san corridors. Love the corridors on his builds. And coming back, so yeah, we've got each of the corners, and then going up, what have we got up here? Oh, okay, so that's looking really nice, wow. They've even got a medical shuttle, that's... Hang on. I'm, I'm in the med, I'm in the uh, bay going up now, there's a little shuttle bay. We've got a shuttle. Uh, block of hull here, I'm thinking... This kind of deserves a core at this speed. This is big. <laughs> this is really big. So, okay, so going up again. I'm loving his little la his lift lift design. And then we've got the control room. <coughs> no dice. Cores. And then we're at the top. Um, it's, it's lovely what you've done with the power tanks to get that green glow. I like that. Right, so can I get into the asteroid without going in there? You, uh, yeah, you just come in, in the station. You have to be in the station, I think, to make your way down. Oh, there. oh. Yep. I mean, tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Yeah, I didn't see any of the doors into the, the uh, asteroid itself. Or oh, just that I'm trying to see where you would come in at. Are you probably? Oh wow, this is long. Where are you? I am uh, in build mode. Gotcha. Uh, but I, all I can see is a is a. Oh hey, yeah. uh, oh hell on, ha 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 ha. Yeah. Oh damn. Oh yes. What? You found it. Uh, yeah, I found it. We've we've <laughs> gone we've gone full Genesis, gentlemen. We've gone full Genesis. It's the Genesis device, dudes. Look at this. That that dead looking asteroid is full of life. <laughs> oh, look at this. I'm sorry for the skewy camera, but uh, it's going to take me a long time to get in there without being in build mode. Because it's all this. He's even shot it up a little bit. He shot it up a lot. I think he built it. And oh then yeah. he shot it up. <laughs> it looks great though, because at a distance. It, I just thought, oh, big asteroid. So it worked, mate. Well done. Look at that. And inside is, well, the Genesis test, do uh, test cave. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah. Uh, well done, guys. Son, um, the ship deserves a little mini review as well. Uh, let me just see what's it called. It's called the the Bridget Mark V. 
Frigid Mark V, faction unknown. It's like kind of intrepidish, but for nacelles. Yeah, it's got, it's got the front hall of the Nova. Like a Nova, yeah. And then Prometheus and Nacelle. That's that's really clever. But those are two ships I would not have honestly thought to mash together. And well done. So there it is. This needs to be canon, I think. This is now my head cannon Nova. <laughs> I like the bridge. I really like the bridge. And I like the warp core. Warp core is cool. I love how it just extends into other parts of the ship. <coughs> the bridge is really small. And there's the warp core. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's outdone himself for this time. Look at that. Beautiful. What? And I bet that goes up here, out there, and to each nacelle. Usually he does it like through each of these. Oh, I didn't notice that. They actually do go to each nacelle. They go to each nacelle, yeah. He's really clever like that. I love that detail. It's great. Where's it going? It's going down. Yeah, can't really see. Oh yeah, it's going down to the dish. Of course it is. <laughs> it's all connected. It's a, it's a beauty. Uh, looking at that, so I think I've looked at every room. Just the hangar. It's a very, very sexy ship. get a good quality of submission here. I kind of want to put the ship inside the giant asteroid. Just <laughs> <laughs> because it's so freaking huge in there. Oh, I know. This makes me want to make a ship just to do that. That's just... I want to Look, build Clouds, that. people. Clouds. Yeah? There's clouds that in here. That is next level stuff. There are clouds. I'm blown away by the clouds. I mean, look at this. This is just like, damn. And Get they're not—they're not like stupid clouds either. Like he didn't place them arbitrarily. <coughs> they actually look like block clouds are supposed to look. I think. Good stuff. 